So I'm going to close with some personal reflections about how to have an impact in biomechanics. Biomechanics has become an extremely important and visible discipline. You might even say that biomechanics takes center stage. When I started biomechanics 35 years ago, my first conference was the West Coast Gate Conference. It was fantastic. 20 people attended. At the last International Society of Biomechanics, 2,000 people attended. Now beyond our conferences, biomechanics has penetrated many fields and many industries, including the largest companies on our planet, all of which have substantial biomechanics research groups. I wanted to share an observation. One is that it's possible for you to make a positive difference, even at a young age, even with a very small group, with three key ingredients. Number one, a compelling purpose. Number two, clear goals. And number three, great people. Practicing biomechanics and practicing science as service has helped me find purpose in life. Seeing science is a good focus. I, I hear other people getting confused about why they want to be a biomechanist or why they want to be a scientist to get famous or to get rich or to have a flexible lifestyle. It doesn't really work that way. Being curious and using your energy to serve humanity is a, a method that I've found works quite well. Now that's a challenge because most of my experiments fail. I can't even count how many papers I've had rejected. I've had relationships fail. I've lost awards that I didn't even know I applied for. Failing hurts and it's inevitable in research. It's definitely gonna happen in biomechanics research. So how do you cope with that? I suggest you find a buddy. Research can be hard and it can be lonely and you'll need a buddy. Actually, the more the better. We have a buddy system in my lab and I seek out buddies who hold me accountable and make me laugh. So find a buddy. I've also found that embracing levity and laughter is very helpful. You know, laughter connects us and helps us be more creative. Plus, biomechanics is fun, so why not goof around with your buddies? Besides, we get to use lasers. In fact, I have a laser right here. We haven't pulled it out yet, but we might just do that. People remember pictures. This is what we remember Moybridge for. So I spend a lot of time creating pictures. You know, I don't read very well, but I can remember pictures. And when Tom Yoshida and my brother David and I created the Biomechanics of Movement book, we spent at least half of our time making pictures like this one that can help you see how we move. You can remember this picture. You can remember when muscles are on and the kinematics of movement. The only thing that really matters is the chance to work with great people. This is my lab group pre-pandemic when we could all be together. And I have been blessed with the opportunity to work with truly remarkable mentors, colleagues, students, and friends. And to be part of a great team really makes me feel connected to work and to life. I just wanted to close by thanking the many people who have shared your ideas and energy with me over the years. When I got the Moybridge Award, it was a big surprise and it reflects not my work, but the creative ideas and partnership that you all have provided. So a big thanks to all the creative people who've worked in my lab over the years. What good luck for me to have worked with all of you. In the preface of the Biomechanics of Movement book, I included this picture. That's all the people who contributed their insights and data and who appear to the book. Go through it, look for your picture, look for your name. And if you're a student, 
I hope you'll find your place in the, in the history of biomechanics. I'm doing my best to pass on the information I've learned from these creative peoples over the years through these lectures. And now I'm passing the baton to you, the next generation of biomechanists who will carry on the good work and use biomechanics to serve humanity. Go for it. You can do it. That was long. <laughs>